just a vast, vast area. It's not an easy mountain. If you haven't been up there, it's mind-boggling how absolutely huge that terrain is. We have a clue. I mean, it's the first clue in 18 years. How could somebody just disappear into thin air? From Colorado's news leader, it's 4 o'clock at 9 News. There's still no sign of 35-year-old Michelle Vanek of Lakewood, a mother of four. She's been missing in the backcountry near Vail since Saturday. Michelle Vanek planned to climb her first 14er. On September 24, 2005, she set out with a family friend, an experienced hiker who'd climbed 38 of the state's signature peaks. The trouble started in the Half Moon Campground, where there are two trailheads to Mount of the Holy Cross. There was a lot of construction going on, and there were some um, piles of dirt that were in front of the, the trailhead that goes up the Northeast Ridge. Vail Mountain Rescue's Scott Beebe has summited Holy Cross more than a dozen times, up the Northeast Ridge, the standard route, and on the trail Vanek and her friend ended up taking, the Halo Route. The Halo Route uh, is a lot more difficult. You have to climb up and down three 13ers uh, before you get to the final summit pitch uh, below uh, Mount of the Holy Cross. And it is a, it's a long, difficult route. Seven hours later, nearing the summit, Vanek was exhausted and out of water. She urged her partner to go to the top without her. He said, okay, what I want you to do is hike across the boulder field. And he pointed to a, a, a hump kind of on the horizon, head towards that spot and then start down and I will catch up with you. When he descended, she was gone. We're gonna come up in here. The largest search in state history failed to turn up a single clue. In that void, investigators grilled Vanek's hiking partner. Why did he take a novice up a 14er without necessary survival items? Did he have any involvement with the disappearance? Had he harmed her? The man stopped answering questions. Any further missions would not lead to the possibility of finding Ms. Vanek. And after eight days, the search ended. Michelle now walks with God. I've been familiar with this uh, search since she disappeared in 2005. I still have uh, you know, original newspaper articles about it. Bibi joined Vail Mountain Rescue in 2010. Ever since I've been on the team, whenever we've had a mission on Mount of the Holy Cross, we're reminded, hey, keep your eyes peeled. But there was never anything but speculation. Then last year, a father and son hiked into an area north of the Holy Cross summit, below a rugged slope known as the Angelica Coulard. They found a boot that was kind of propped up against a, against a rock. Michelle Vanek's boot. This is the first clue in almost 20 years that surfaced. Ted Katowskis heads up the canine team for Vail Mountain Rescue. Come on, striker. After waiting out this year's snow melt and weeks of planning. So we'll come back to that, Scott. Katowskis and striker and other searchers headed back into the Holy Cross wilderness a few weeks ago. We had two hours to, we would call it, do a hasty search of around that area. So we ran the dogs all through uh, this campsite and then uh, up Angelica Coulard. Nope. They found only disappointment. You hope that, um, you know, especially after 20 years, that we're going to find something, that we're going to, uh, you know, anything. No new clues, no new evidence. In hindsight, it's always easy to point fingers. Many pointed them at Vanek's hiking partner for mistakes or worse. The boot convinced Bibi that was wrong. For 18 years, the narrative been, has been she got lost in the Western Boulder Field. And now she did exactly what her hiking partner told her to do. The boot shows she went to an area not searched in 2005 until the last day. By then, there was a foot and a half, two feet of snow. And so, I mean, everything was covered. Searchers wrote impassable on this map. Their words surrounding the red dot where the boot was found. Bibi believes Vanek missed her hiking partner by 10 minutes, mistook a path carved by rockfall and snowmelt for the trail down the mountain, and ended up in a place where no one goes, out of food and water, without enough warm clothing. He recently told Vanek's family what he believes happened next. I said, we know that the, the temperature that night got down into the low 20s up on the mountain. And I said, I think she laid down and she went to sleep and she didn't wake back up. 
Phoebe has not been able to reach Michelle Vanek's hiking partner, and neither have we. We talked to Ben Vanek, Michelle's husband, who decided after discussing it with his family that he did not want to do an interview. Yeah, he told us that he wants people to know that they are doing okay, that, quote, we are living the life we set out to have with Michelle.